The AM4 platform is still going strong in 2025. It's not the newest socket out there, but if you're building a budget-friendly gaming PC or upgrading an older rig, AM4 has some surprisingly good options. Whether you're into gaming, streaming, or handling a few heavier workloads, there's still a lot of value packed into these chips. In this video, we're ranking six of the best AM4 CPUs available right now. We'll cover what each one does well, who it's for, and what to expect. No hype, just a clear breakdown to help you pick the right one. Links are in the description below. Number 6. Ryzen 7 5800X If you're upgrading from an older Ryzen 2000 or 3000 series CPU, the Ryzen 7 5800X is one of the easier recommendations on the list. It's built on AMD's Zen 3 architecture, with 8 cores and 16 threads, and it runs at a base clock of 3.8 GHz with a boost up to 4.7 GH. That makes it a solid performer for both gaming and multitasking, especially in systems that are already AM4 ready. It doesn't have the fancy 3DV catch found on some of the newer chips, so you won't see quite the same jump in gaming frame rates. But its raw single-core performance still holds up well in many modern titles and for mixed-use builds like light editing, compiling code, or streaming while gaming. It does more than enough. The 5800X has 32 MB of L3 cache and a TDP of 105 watts. It does tend to run warmer than lower wattage options, so an aftermarket cooler is strongly recommended. There's no cooler in the box, and while that might be a downside for some, it also gives you more flexibility to pick a thermal solution that fits your setup. As of now, the price has dropped significantly, making it a solid value option for users who want 8-core performance without stepping up to the premium models. It's not the flashiest CPU on the AM4 platform anymore, but it still hits a nice balance between gaming and productivity, especially if you can grab it on sale. If you're building a system that needs strong, all-around performance and you're not chasing every last frame, the 5800X is still a worthwhile pick. Number 5. Ryzen 5 5500X 3D The Ryzen 5 5500X 3D is one of the more interesting AM4 CPUs to show up lately. It takes the same Zen 3 architecture found in other 5000 series chips, but adds 96 MB of L3 cache using AMD's 3DV cache tech. The same amount you'll find in the more expensive 5800X 3D. That extra catch helps this 6-core, 12-thread chip punch above its weight in games, especially titles that thrive on cache-heavy designs like competitive shooters or simulation games. The base clock lands around 3.0 GHs, with a boost up to roughly 4.2 GHs, it's not the highest clock speed on the list, but the performance per watt is solid. The TDP is around 65 watts, which means it's easier to cool than many other CPUs here. It's also compatible with most AM4 boards, which keeps upgrade costs low. Now here's the catch. The 5500X 3D isn't widely available. In fact, it's considered OEM only in a lot of markets, which means you'll likely need to track it down secondhand or in pre-built systems. But if you can get your hands on one at a fair price, it delivers seriously good gaming value for the money. It doesn't come with a cooler, so that's something to factor into the total cost. And it's not built for heavy multitasking or productivity work. But for budget gamers who want near 5800X 3D gaming performance without paying flagship prices, this is one of the best sleeper picks out there right now. Number 4. Ryzen 5 5600X the Ryzen 5 5600X has been a go to option for AM4 builders since its release, and it's still easy to recommend in 2025. With 6 cores and 12 threads, it runs on the Zen 3 architecture and sits at a base clock of 3.7 GHs, boosting up to 4.6 GHs. That gives it strong single core performance, which is ideal for most modern games, especially if you're aiming for high FPS at 1080p or 1440p. It's rated at 65 watts, so thermal output stays low and efficiency is one of its standout qualities. This CPU also ships with AMD's Wraith Stealth Cooler, which helps keep total system costs down. A nice touch if you're putting together a build on a tight budget or don't want to buy a separate cooling solution right away. Performance-wise, it's still more than capable in today's games. You'll see smooth gameplay across most titles, even when paired with mid-range cards like the RX 6700 XT or RTX 4060 Ti. In productivity, it handles basic tasks well, though it's not built for demanding workloads like video rendering or 3D modeling. What really makes the 5600X appealing now is the price. With deep discounts and frequent bundle deals, it's often one of the cheapest ways to get into Zen 3 without sacrificing too much performance. It's also widely supported on most AM4 motherboards, making upgrades simple. 
If you want a reliable, low-heat chip that gets the job done in games and doesn't stretch your budget, the Ryzen 5 5600X is still a safe and smart pick. Number 3. Ryzen 9 5900X If you're looking for an AM4 CPU that can handle just about everything you throw at it, the Ryzen 9 5900X is hard to ignore. Built on the Zen 3 architecture, it offers 12 cores and 24 threads, with a base clock of 3.7 GHs and a boost up to 4.8 GHs. That kind of core count makes it one of the most versatile processors in the AM4 lineup, great for both serious multitasking and smooth gaming. It comes with 64 MB of L3 cache and has a TDP of 105 watts, which means you'll want to pair it with a decent aftermarket cooler. There's no stock cooler in the box and under heavy load, especially in productivity tasks. This chip tends to run hot. Good airflow is important if you're building around it. In gaming, it performs very well, though it can get slightly edged out by chips with 3DV cache in certain titles. That said, when paired with high-end GPUs, it pushes strong frame rates at both 1440p and 4K. It's also excellent for creators or streamers who want to game and encode at the same time without frame drops or stuttering. The value has improved a lot too. Prices often dip below $300 now, which puts it in a sweet spot for users who want workstation-level productivity and excellent gaming without moving to a new platform. Overall, the Ryzen 9 5900X remains AM4's best option for users who want high performance across the board. It's not the cheapest and it runs a little warm, but it delivers serious capability without needing to go AM5. Number 2. Ryzen 7 5700X 3D the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D is AMD's latest entry into the AM4 lineup, and it's aimed squarely at gamers who want top-tier performance without jumping to a new socket. It features 8 cores and 16 threads based on the Zen 3 architecture, and what sets it apart is the inclusion of 96 MB of 3D V-Catch, just like the more expensive 5800X 3D. Clock speeds come in lower here with a base of 3.0 GHs and a max boost around 4.1 GHs, but the extra cache helps close that gap in real-world gaming. In fact, depending on the title, the 5700X 3D often performs within 5-10% to of the 5800X 3D while coming in at a slightly lower price point. That makes it a great value for users who care more about frame rates than synthetic benchmarks. The 105 watt TDP means it still draws a decent amount of power, and like the other X3D chips, it doesn't include a cooler, so plan for that when budgeting your build. But when paired with something like an RTX 4070 Super or RX 7800 XT, the CPU delivers excellent performance especially at 1080p and 1440p in high refresh scenarios. It's not built for heavy-duty multi-threaded tasks, and the lower clocks mean it won't be the best choice for rendering or encoding large files. But if gaming is your focus and you want one of the fastest options on AM4 without maxing up your budget, the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D is a smart way to go. It's fast, efficient, and priced just right for serious gamers who still want to stick with AM4. Number 1. Ryzen 7 5800X 3D Topping the list is the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and for good reason. With 8 cores and 16 threads, this chip runs on the Zen 3 architecture and includes AMD's game-changing 3D V cache, giving it a massive 96 MB of L3 cache. Clock speeds land at 3.4 GH base and up to 4.5 GH boost, which isn't the fastest on paper, but in gaming, it doesn't really need to be. The extra cache makes a huge difference in frame times, latency, and overall responsiveness, especially in CPU-limited scenarios. In fact, the 5800X 3D still competes directly with, and occasionally beats, your CPUs from both AMD's Ryzen 7000 series and Intel's 13th gen lineup in real-world gaming. For users focused on high-refresh 1080p or 1440p setups, this chip consistently delivers top-tier performance. With a 105-watt TDP and no included cooler, it does require a bit of planning for thermals. You'll want a capable aftermarket solution to keep temps in check, especially in smaller cases. That said, it's not overly power-hungry or loud when paired with a solid cooler. It's not designed for heavy productivity workloads. The lower clock speeds and lack of AVX512 support make it less ideal for tasks like rendering or heavy computation. But for gaming, it's still the best chip available on AM4. Prices now often fall between $250 and $280, and at that range, its performance per dollar is hard to beat. 
If you're gaming focused and staying on AM4, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D remains the top pick in 2025. So that wraps up our list of the best AM4 CPUs you can still count on in 2025. Whether you're upgrading an older build or piecing together a budget-friendly gaming rig, there's something here that fits the bill. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more like this. Let us know in the comments which CPU you're going with. Thanks for watching and see you next time.